Jesus gives three different parables here and a crucial parable. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to put it in red. Here, here, uh, right and, and, and the blasting one is, yeah, the seed and of the wheat and the, uh, and the weeds. I, I mean, who? I mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. So, so why is it so why is it so why is it so shocking to see people that don't believe in the church? The Bible tells you this. He also says he's going to separate the goats from the sheep. Yeah. I mean, does he not? I mean, does he not read the Bible? Or mm -hmm. are you just talking? No. Mm -hmm. There's 33 denominations. And <laughs> what's your point? I can start up a church and call it what I want to. There's some that don't have any names out there. They just want to call themselves something. Yeah. It says right here, it says, here put another parable before them saying, the kingdom of heaven may be carried to a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while his men were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared also. And the servant of the master of the house came and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have weeds? He said to them, an enemy has done this. So the servant says to him, then do what you want. Uh, uh, then what do you want us to do? Go gather them, but he says, no, least in gathering the weeds, you root up the wheat along with it. Let both grow together until harvest. And at the harvest time, I will tell the reapers, gather the weeds first, bind them in a bundle and burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. So if you know anything about weeds, they toss it up in air. And it was it like the weeds go flying through the air. And the grain falls to the grain. Mm -hmm. So so you're leaving the church because you're falling away. That's what you're mm -hmm. supposed to do in the first place. Exactly. And here's the thing. I, look, I said this before, and I offended a lot of people, Pastor Sean and Brother Brian, with the teaching that I gave some time ago regarding the Matthew 13. I, listen, that great falling away, it, yeah, it's bad, but then it's good. Because again, it was given in the lesson earlier on that pruning, that God gonna make room and get rid of all of that dead stuff. So I'm gonna tell you right now, those who say, well, we left the Christian church. We done what Pastor Sean, the Pastor Poor Chop and all this. No, God gave you a spiritual of get out. A spirit of departure. Get the hell out of here because guess what? We got to make room for more fruit to come through. Y'all out of here. And listen, here's the thing. Let me tell you, Pastor Sean and Brother Brian, God is so strategic. He's so smooth with it. He's so smart with it. You've been kicked out and don't even know you kicked out. You thought you left. <laughs> oh, Pastor Sean, take this. Listen, take this, Pastor Sean, Brother Brad, because listen, folk don't understand that God, God is not stupid. You ain't going to obey God. You ain't going to follow by God's word. You going to try to bring discord and bring division schism amongst the body of Christ. You going to try to bring all kind of crazy stuff in. God will... Listen, God don't need you. You need him. And guess what? You really thought, listen, listen, listen. Look at what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 16. Not even the gates of hell will prevail against his church. The church is the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Christ is the head of the body. You really think that you're going to come against Christ? No, baby. You just, you've been put out and didn't even know it. Just like, you know, and I can give you an example when God like say, okay, I will put in a, a lying tongue. Since you want to hear a lie, go right ahead. I got you. And you think you're so smart. You've been put out. You notice something? The gates of hell will not prevail against the church. Church ain't going to go nowhere. The church is at the ending of the story. The church is the bride of Christ. You think God is expelling? He's going to what? Destroy his body? 
No, ma'am, no, sir. You just didn't know you was put out. That's how strategic God is. <laughs> you really thought something because you left as if, yeah, I'm going to hurt the church because I'm gone. And Pastor Sean, gonna, he going to go down because I'm gone. No, baby, Pastor Sean is still preaching. He's still preaching the gospel that God gave him, the gospel message. The apologist is still moving on God's word. Yeah, we're not in the physical. All of us ain't in the physical house of prayer due to the pandemic. That's okay. That'll pass, I believe. But again, the church is still here. Y'all got so focused on the building. No, the church is the people. Listen, darling, the church ain't going nowhere. Why? Because God made that possible. He, he said, I'm coming back for a, a bride without spot of blemish. These tares, these wheat, you, wheat, weeds, weeds, not the wheat, weeds. Y'all got to go. And God even said in the scriptures, he going to start with what? The house of God. You, 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 you. <laughs> Listen, when I seen this in the scripture, I'm like, Lord, I'm not, I'm not, no, please don't make me say this. No, I'm not comfortable. God said, I listen, you don't say it. I get somebody else to say it. Okay. Listen, you really, <laughs> Hebrew is like, so you really thought because you done started this crazy whacked out movement, you temporary. See, you're going to disappear after a while. Church ain't going to go nowhere. Church going to be with God. That's going to be yep. everlasting. You're going to disappear. <laughs> you know, to share, to share, it's like a, it's like this, to share. It's like a, it's like a person you work with and mm -hmm. they keep talking about they're going to quit. They're going to quit. They're going to quit. And mm -hmm. you're looking at them going, we're not going to miss you. Go ahead and quit. Right. Go ahead and leave. Leave the church. Right. You don't need unbelievers in this church show sure don't because to your you one we got we got 1500 waiting <laughs> listen what but brother brandy here's the part that i can't get over the fact that they out of the church and felt that they left the church and that they did something to hurt the church but really they don't realize that god put you out He's not going to stand for disobedience. No. He's looking for the, 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 listen, the harvest is great and the labors are few. God wants actually those who are willing to labor and to obey him and to carry out all these things that need to be carried out, which he gives, he designates. You in the act of disobedience, you got to get out the way. So you got the spirit of departure and you really thought you was doing something. Just look at just look at the whole scenario. But you so blind because you caught up in Hebrew Israelism and too busy in your racism, you can't even see it. You gone. Now I'm not saying you can't come back, but you can't come back in the way in, in that condition. You can't stay in that condition. See, the door is still open. But again, if you think you're going to come up in here with this racism, this, 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 this Judaizing and all that other stuff, God will put you out. You didn't know? Oh, Pashon, Brother Brian, they didn't know. Mm. Well, I told you. Yeah, go and look at the scriptures. Go and look at it. Yeah, because God got to make room. You know why? Huh, come on with it, Pashon. Like Come on, you, can say you didn't know all you want. Ignorance of the word is no excuse. The Bible says that there was a time where he winked at ignorance, but now he calls all men to repentance. Mm -hmm. So you can't say, well, well, Lord, I didn't know. Yes, you did, because I tried to show you. I tried to talk to you. I said people to tell you. I said yep. people to talk to you on social media. I said people to talk to you face to face. I, right. I, I even did things that would, would say, that would astound the normal person, and, and you still wouldn't listen and knew that it was me that was talking to you all the time. You That's just right. decided you wanted to ignore me because you ignorant. You wanted to act ignorant to be in ignorance. Come on, y'all don't, y'all ain't that doggone. That's crazy. right. And he tells you, 
you, you, the clue is the pruning. Cut off. He's pruning. Kevin G just told you what pruning means. I showed you the definition of pruning. It means to remove, to cut off, to clip off, kick out. You didn't know? Read the scriptures harder, baby. Look at the definition of pruning. God is making room for new believers, new fruit. Yeah. The ones that's not bearing fruit or clogging up the pores, the, 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 the flow. Remember when I asked Mama Millicent about her garden? And she said she prunes. Why does she prunes? To clip off those dead ends that don't need to be there. That's blocking what? The life, the airflow from what? New leaves, new herbs, new fruit to come through. That's why you cut off dead stuff. Yeah. Spiritually dead people, clip. Judaizing, clip. False doctrine, clip. Disobedience, clip. You will be cut off. Oh, God will do it. You think he wouldn't? Why do you think you out? Look at what Jesus is saying in Matthew 13. And guess what happens to those dead things? What happens to those dead things when he gathers up all of the weeds? Where they go? Straight in the fire. <laughs> straight in the fire and that represents what hell pay attention to what jesus is saying stop listen i if i was you i would stop sitting up here focusing on that race stuff i i will stop with that racism and that ethnic superiority that you think you got I will stop looking at that and start paying attention, uh, paying att close attention to what Jesus is saying. He, Jesus is not playing. God is not playing. He will cut you off. He's done it before. Why wouldn't he do it again? See, Jesus said, listen, God said that he wouldn't flood the world, right? God said he ain't going to do a second exodus. God will tell you what he will do and what he won't do, but he never said that he wouldn't cut you off, especially for disobedience. Oh, you miss, you, you ignored that part. See, Brother Brian, I think y'all be, you and Pastor Sean be nice about it. Some other Christian apologists too be too nice to say, y'all must have missed that part. I, I'm guilty of it too. Um, I don't think that you missed that part. I think you're ignoring that part. You do have some people that probably didn't catch it, but yeah, you you were cut off. Yeah, you know, when you started giving ear to that devil, and you started doubting God, and you start bringing in all of these little funky kind of twists and stuff, disobeying God, you were cut off. And it was it was such a sharp clip. So quickly, you didn't even know that you was, you were, you, you were separated. That's why I said, ye who think you are justified by the law are cut off, estranged, separated from Christ. You have fallen. If you clip something, what does it do? It falls. You have fallen from grace. Go and read the scriptures. Pay attention to what Jesus is saying. Mm -hmm. If I was you, I would get my head up out that gutter. You know, because a lot of you ostriches, that, that, what's that bird that like to stick his head in the ground? If I was you, I would pull my head up out that ground <laughs> and start paying attention to what Jesus is saying. Yeah, because he mentions what? Separation, cut off, pruning. That's why I'm drilling it in, because you ignored that part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you wonder why you don't have no life, no living life. You have life, but you don't have life in your life. You can barely breathe because you've been cut off. 
Yeah, you're getting God's grace and his mercy. He's giving you opportunity to come back to him the right way. But you you refuse because why? You're in an act of disobedience. You And then you wonder why your life has no oxygen flow. Because you, 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 you cut off the flow of your oxygen. There you go. Now, I don't care if you get mad. It's the truth. You separate yourself from Christ. You can do nothing. You can't even live. Scriptures tell you that. Jesus said that in John chapter 15. I am the vine. I'm the true vine. Those who abide in me, you will live. Those who are separated from me, you're going to die. You just die in a slow death. That's it. The walking dead. I said that. All of that, uh, Brother Myron. I said all of that. And watch them go back to their little echo chambers. And they're going to be mad at me and Pastor Sean and Brother Brian. Oh, they so rude. Oh, they bullies. Oh, they just hate us because we, we Israel because we black. Shut up. Your skin color going to go in the dirt, in the ground, maggot food. Who cares? Who cares? You got to leave this earth one day. But it's how you leave this earth. Are you going to leave this earth in Christ? Or are you going to leave this earth 